In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to integrate WP Courseware with S2 Member, the membership plugin. Okay, let's begin. On the menu on the left hand side, what we want to do is select S2 Member and General Options. We want to ensure that Open Registration is set to Yes, Allow Open Registration. This is only for the purposes of this video so that I can allow free subscribers to register for S2 member. This is only so that I can show you how to integrate WP Courseware. You may want to se select different membership levels and set up your registration differently. Again, this is just for the purposes of this video. Okay, and the other thing we want to do is copy our registration URL into our clipboard so that we can use it here in just a few minutes. And once we have those two options configured, now what we need to do is set up our training course. So on the left hand menu, under training courses, we want to go to training courses. And as you can see here, I already have a training course available. And so what we need to do now is we need to go in and modify our training course. So let's go ahead and select our training course. Now we are going to scroll down to the user access area. Now this is a very important area that we need to configure. If you are going to have only one training course on your website, we highly recommend that you select automatic. That way when somebody registers onto your membership site, it automatically enrolls them into the course. However, if you are going to have multiple courses on your website, then we strongly suggest you use the manual enrollment process. And basically what this does is it allows people to register with S2 member. However, you will have to go in manually and assign them into a particular course. And keep in mind, you can actually assign multiple courses to one single student. Okay, so for purposes of this video, I'm going to go ahead and just leave that set to automatic. And I'm going to go ahead and select save all details. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to go back to our training course area. So on the left hand side under training courses, select training courses. And we need to create modules. Now you'll notice I've already taken the liberty of creating a module for this particular course. So the next logical thing to do would be to create units. So on the left hand side under course units, select course units. And as you notice, there are already two units created here. But there is a very important step that we need to perform, and that is we need to go into each one of these units and assign the unit to a particular membership level. So under the first unit I have selected here, I'm going to click on Edit. And on the right hand side, you're going to notice there's a section for S2 member. And the very first option is post level restriction. And so what we want to do is we want to set this to require level number zero. If you remember in our S2 member general option settings, we set up the automatic registration to go to level zero. So I want to select this particular level. Now if your membership level for your membership site is number one, two, or three, then you would select the corresponding membership level. But for this video, we're just going to go ahead and select number zero and then we're going to select update okay and just real quickly I'm going to go and perform the same steps on the other unit okay now that we've configured our units the next step would be to create our course outline so on the left hand menu under pages select all pages and you'll notice I've already created a course outline. So let's go ahead and click into that. And again, you're going to have to modify the membership level that you want to assign to this page. So as you can see, I've already selected uh, level zero. And so we're just going to go ahead and hit update for good measure. And our course outline is now set up. So now what we need to do is test out to see if uh, we can create a new user and have them auto enroll into our Training Your Dog 101 course. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to step over to another browser 
and I'm going to go ahead and register. Okay, so now I'm registered. And so what we want to do is actually log in using the credentials that we just selected. And you'll notice that we have our Training Your Dog 101 course outline. Go ahead and select that. And here is our actual course outline. We've got two units set up under Module 1. The first unit is active, and so we're going to go ahead and click into that. And obviously here you would have some sort of content. You would have maybe a video tutorial or maybe a downloadable PDF. And once the student actually completes this actual lesson, then they would come down and select Mark as Completed. And now the unit is now completed. So if we jump back over to our other browser with our WordPress admin panel, what we want to do on the left hand side is select Users, All Users. And you'll notice we have User 1, which registered through the S2 member membership plugin. And if you notice off to the right hand side here, we have our training course progress and it's already set at 50% because I completed the first of two units. However, if our website had more than one training course, then we would have set our enrollment to manual. And if it was set to manual, we would have to actually manually assign a course to this student. And so I just want to quickly go over how to manually assign a course to a specific student. So, so if user one had registered and not been auto assigned to this training course, what you'd want to do is come into this same area into all users and find the particular user that you want to enroll into a particular course. And off to the right hand side, you'll notice there's a button update course access. And so what we would do is go ahead and click on that. And you'll notice there would be a list of courses right under course title. Now, in, the, in our case, we only have one course, but in the case that we had multiple, you would be able to come over here to the left-hand side and select a checkbox next to the corresponding course. And once you're satisfied with the selection, you can click Save Changes. And that's how you manually enroll a student into a course. That completes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.